Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to copy instruments and clips from one live set to another in Ableton Live. So this is the way I like to do it. If you have an alternative way of doing it, please comment in the comment section so I can hear how you actually do this. So the way I do is I count how many instruments I want to copy. So here's nine, because it obviously goes from one to nine. And then all I do is select the last one, hit shift and the left arrow key and scroll over all the way. And then I just hit copy, which is Command and C. And this should have copied all of the instruments and all of the clips. Now let's go over to the set I want to copy this to. So the way I like to do this is to actually create one live set. And then I have small little sets that I create on the day. And then I add the clips that I like to the big main live set for a live performance. So please don't judge me on how messy this actually is. It's still a work in progress. So I'm going to create a new MIDI track by using the key command shift command T. And I actually have my MIDI instrument set up like this as default with all these effects and this instrument. So I'm just going to delete these. And then if you remember, we had nine MIDI tracks. So I'm just going to duplicate this eight times. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if we just count now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine MIDI tracks. So let's select the first instrument and hit Command and V. And this will copy the instruments and the clips. Let's just undo this for now. And if we don't select the instrument, we just select the clip slot and hit Command and V. This will not actually copy the instrument, this will just copy the clips. So if you just want to copy the clips, remember to hit a blank clip spot. But if you want to copy and paste the instruments, you have to make sure you have the instrument selected here. So let's hit Command and V again. So now I've got this copied over to my main live performance set. And if we click on the instruments, we can see that the instrument here has been selected too and the effect. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. If you do this in a different kind of way, please write in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you think. And yeah, thanks for watching.